Hello everyone and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ps Stars Accelerator World Championship 2009 Episode 3. And where we left off, we entered the subway and uh, beat Nervin. Now we have to fight Tank and Woods. Who just wants to start strength out? So I added up my deck a little bit, turns out the gated cards in your side deck, which are actually really useful, I could have put in your fucking deck, you know, sorry for the language. Now we'll summon second commander. And then Yellow Gadget will end up getting destroyed. Alright, minus 200 for Tank. Turns out, in the anime, apparently Blitz and Nervin were actually slits for the characters. So Nervin, in this game, is actually Blitz in the anime, apparently. That's why I heard. It's been a while since I watched it. Look how much faster this is. I messed around with settings a little bit and now it's way more faster. So now it actually feels like a Yu-Gi-Oh game and not like some low slow-mo crap. Go ahead and summon warm boxes. I can't really use the effect or anything. And then I'll equip Big Bang Shop to warm boxes. Why not? I don't think Tank really has that much, uh, Strong monsters, he's more just relying on the monsters and text. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and seek our summon. Into Guy and I Force Fur. One of my favorite synchros. It's kinda crazy how most of these characters in this game don't even have any secrets in the beginning, so you feel kinda overpowered. I'm gonna go ahead and set Dust Tornado. I don't know, I'll summon my Mecha Bunny. And. Just to give collateral damage, I'll oh, put Fairy Meteor Crust to Guy Knight Force Spur. That way he's able to do piercing damage, which is roughly. Fairy Meteor Crush is really good for that. And he'll do a whopping 2400 life damage. But then he has Karibo in his freaking hand, so that's like nothing. And then there's Wing Karibo. Which I just attacked for no reason, even though I knew we grip his effect. Luka Muka. Okay, that's the name. You can go ahead and destroy a mecha bunny. Okay, so you don't get a drop for the next two turns. What are you gonna do then? I'm just gonna take a 1600 die points. Not bad. I'll go ahead and activate Mecha Bunny's effect, which, uh. You probably should not kill them, because uh, I have the creator. Oh! 
Nice, see right there? That's what I call a big move. He won't even have enough to take out with him, he's dead. Oh well. And... He's gonna trip you for Thunder Dragon, but Mooka Mooka had more attack points. Okay, whatever. And one apocalypse effect doesn't activate because he has no color cracks. Ooh! Soul Taker! He gains 1000 life points for it, but his other dragon is destroyed. Go ahead and flip some in Mecha Bunny. Well, see, I don't have any cards on the field, so I have to. And on a snow summon the creator. Two thousand is not bad, you know. Ooh. Not good. Not good at all. I need a good monster quick. Or I might be losing the tank. Oh no, Mecha Bunny! Forgot! That's why Mecha Bunny is the best. Only reason why I have him in my bed right now. This guy is in for it now. Contributing to summon the creator. One of my personal favorite cards in this dark deck. See the little intro they gave him? It's a little slow in the intros, actually not that bad. And I love the creator's effect. I'll go ahead and show it some exec commander. I didn't really pay attention to what I was doing. Basically, you're gonna start a you can discard a card and uh summon any monster from your graveyard. Could this be like a free monster reborn? I could have just used it to summon Guy Knight's Fourth Earth, but I don't think I really need him. Because I don't think Tank can even stop the creator. Nope. Doesn't look like it at all. And he's defenseless, and that's gonna be a win for us, unless he has something good in his hand. I'll tribute Psychic like Commander to some of these Dragon Eyes. And the creator's hit should be the last one. And just like that, we beat Tank! Nothing to it but to do, am I right? Wow, 300 BP. BP is used to fight attacks in this game. Not bad! Okay, then now I have to fight Glitch. So it's two duels, you know. That's gonna give you guys some good taste, you know. Now, I think Blitz relies on the fans monster. I took a cup of ace, it's heads, I draw two cards. 
And it is it. Awesome. Ooh. Good end. I'll go ahead and normal summon Twin Barrel Dragon. See if I get lucky with his effect to destroy his monster. Ah, oh, one head, one tail. Let's go give me all his inspiration. Oh, Grave Keeper spot. Yep, he relies on high defense monsters. So I have to get Seeker Summon or the Creator out. And I'll go ahead and end my turn. See what Flux is going to do next. No, I don't want to activate the effect right now. I'll go ahead and normal summon Dark Bacteria. And let's just reveal what that face down is, right? You know, I don't want to lose any more life points, too. Defense this monster, so I'll just have Dark Buck here to destroy it with reinforcements. Can't really do anything else right now, so I'll up in my turn. He will face down the car. Don't know why I said car to beard. My voice kind of cracked a little bit. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and activate the compulsory evacuation device now. This is not fake though. Because I don't want to mess with it right now. Nah, I won't do it right now. I'll just almost summon the mecha body. Hopefully get one of them to draw out and uh... Attack it or something. Oh, yeah, Blitz isn't that stupid, apparently. I forgot Sword and Shield affected everybody. I'm in a bit of a trouble here, but I'll just have to create Mecha Bunny's effect to make sure I have a monster on the field. I'll just make Graceful Revival to bring the Mecha Bunny in the graveyard up to the field. And I'll say Birthright to bring Dark Nocteria on the field. And her attack points are back to 1800, which is good. I'll go ahead and flip summon Mecha Bunny. And why not just trigger these Mecha Bunnies, you know? For the creator again. And we will activate the creator's effect. 
I'll select Twin Barrel Dragon and discard my Twister. Let's best summon Twin Barrel Dragon. See, hopefully this will work this time. Man, it's too pale. Good thing there's not really a negative effect on that. I forgot! Twin Shield and Sword only last one turn. And Dark Up Hero will be able to destroy after that one. And it's like that the tables are turning almost. Let's see what old Blitz has in store for us then. Well, obviously I'm not going to attribute the creators, so I'm just going to attribute the barrel dragon. I don't get what you just did there, but it's you just split yourself wide open for 4100 life points. And I'll activate the creator's effect again. Just about to summon Twin Barrel Dragon. Ah, one head, one tail. If I get two heads, I get to destroy the card I select. And if that card's any important, if, sh if that card's not anything important, it should be game. Dark Valkyria attack? She can't stop that. Will it be another game decided by the crater? And it is. Blitz and take football victory to the crater. Still, it was actually pretty exciting, I thought. Then I got the reversal finish bonus and got 275 DP. No, no way! Looks like the duel's over. I know there's a stack just at the head long ago. There it is. Come on in, Zach. Okay, kid. Let's go on in. There's a lot of stuff, watch your step. Don't touch the computer on your right. There's a corner A down. Okay, let's go touch the computer. Let's completely ignore what this fucking kid says, and now because you're an adult. This computer is armed by this password protective. Hey! Come on, I said not to touch it. Hey, fuck you, Riley. I mean, okay, don't touch the computer. Huh? As you say, come back? Let's step outside for a minute. Welcome back, you say? Hey, who's that? So this is Zack. There's something odd about Zack, but not in a bad way. I brought Zack by here to become one of our friends. And now everyone's fine with it. You know, Zack's also a duelist. I see I'm going to take another ride. See you later, bitch. <gasps> a strong jolt of lightning runs through your head, a fragment of your memory has a turn. Dirty ass room. A crappy ATV. Turbo Duel, Duel Runner. Speed Counter. Yep, you're a Turbo Duelist. Go Kart Activate. Hey! Are you okay, Zack? What happened? Remember anything? Zack checks his dual disc and a card appears from his face inside. Speed spell shifts down. Whoa! That's a speed spell card! Wow! 
Yeah. You speak to Riley about something you remember. Oh, I guess that's what you remember. Zack, maybe you're a turbo duelist. If you want to know about duel runners, you should ask you say he's a turbo duelist after all. No! I couldn't have guessed that by the awesome duel runner he gets. Huh? I thought you'd say it was coming, but he isn't here, eh? I could have sworn I heard the sound of its door running. Oh! Hey, what's that? You speak so hard? How'd you ever get such a thing? Say, Nervin. If Zach is not a speak so hard, then maybe our new pal's a turbo deal is too. Why else would I fucking have this card? One card doesn't exactly prove it, but let's make it pretty lucky. It is fucking prove it. If I uh, if I had speak spell card, it would only use for turbo duels. Then I'm a fucking turbo duelist. What do you think about it? It's kind of rare to see me someone with a speed spell card. You just spent you say five seconds to go. Now is that all side the goal runner? Did we certainly have a turbo duelist on our hands? Yeah, I see what you mean. You guys sure speak the obvious. So Zach, do you remember where your goal runner is? Oh, I see, you don't know. No, I fucking don't need you, bitch. It means it is really a downer, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, aren't the only turbo duelists around here either you see or second security? Hmm, wait a second. Doesn't this mean that Zach must have come here from the city? Oh, yeah, that's gotta be right. So maybe going to the city will make that amnesia go away. But that's gonna require a duel runner, so Rally, let's help Zach go up for one. Good idea. If everyone pitches in, then we're sure to find one in no time. A few days later. Well. I think we're going to end the episode right here, folks. Like and subscribe and hope you enjoy, and I'll see y'all later.